What's going on everyone, EGSB here and welcome back to my channel. Now the M1 MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro have been out for almost one year now. There's no such thing as a Mac without the apps. I thought that I'd make a video talking about five of my must have essential apps for the M1 MacBook Air or the M1 MacBook Pro. And everything that I mentioned in this video will be just below the like button, so you can go ahead and check it out if you are interested. None of this was paid for me to talk about. I literally found these apps and I use these pretty much every day and I think they're super useful. So I figured why not help you guys? Let's get into the video. Clean My Mac X. This is an essential Mac app for anybody that has limited storage, but also if you have a lot of storage, you're definitely still gonna want to use this app and I'll get into why in a bit, but let's focus on the storage options. So as somebody who is a photographer and deals with thousands of photo files, that can quickly eat away at your storage capacity. And if you have the base level Mac, sooner or later you're going to run out of space. This is a tool that's been a lifesaver and the way it works is that it analyzes your computer and disk drive and locates clutter such as junk files that just won't go away and it deletes them. And this ensures that your computer runs faster and more efficiently. Clean My Mac X is definitely a cool way to manage your storage. It can look for large storage files and get them out of the, your way by deleting them. It can also manage your trash bin and make sure that big files that you might have forgot about is gone right away, saving you a lot more space. I'm easily able to sometimes save up to 11 gigs and more when I use Clean My Mac X. But the reason why you should still download this app, especially if you have a lot of space available, is that there are other optimization features that this thing offers. Things like RAM management and freeing up RAM, running scripts, and identifying hung applications. It's essentially a mechanic for the Mac, or should I say Macanic? Okay, it's terrible, but you get the point. It's super essential and I'd highly recommend it. I've been using Clean My Mac for years. Magnet. Now this is the next app I want to talk about. And if you are a Mac user and you've spent any time using Windows, generally speaking, Windows is a lot better at window management and maybe even multitasking than Mac OS X. But enter Magnet. This is a cool app that allows you to do many of the things and more in terms of window management that you can do on Windows 10. And that brings that over to Mac. So you're able to quickly snap things to either side of the screen. You can also stack things on top of each other. But the cool thing is you can interact with these apps pretty much at the same time. And it's super easy to use. Of course, Apple does have their way of doing this, but as you can see, it's very limited compared to the options that you have available in Magnet. Now, another way that Magnet outshines the native Mac window management is the fact that it has custom keys. You're able to easily press any keys that you like and you can easily manage your windows. This means that doing things at the same time AKA productivity is highly increased when using Magnet. Now this was a no brainer for me. For the price, I really think that this is worth it. Tunnel Bear. Are you a secret spy that is just paranoid that the government's gonna get you? No, I'm kidding. But Tunnel Bear is a VPN app that allows you to mask your IP address or you can just consider it your internet address so that others cannot track you. They cannot track what you're doing on your computer. For more practical non-spy things, it's an easy way to spoof your location so you can get the benefits that other people get in other countries. The prime example is Netflix. So Canadian Netflix where I live is not the greatest if you look at American Netflix. They have a lot more variety, a lot more options there. But with Tunnel Bear, you're able to easily access exclusive content from other countries. So I'm able to watch Netflix and other shows that aren't available to me by using Tunnel Bear. Moving back to security though, I think one of the most important uses for Tunnel Bear is is to protect your passwords and anything that you keep on your computer that is easily accessible to other people when you are using free internet. It's a super bare bones app. It's really easy to use. You just open the app and you're able to select the country or location that you want to spoof and then you're able to send your location over there. But it's also not that expensive. So right now at the time of this video, they do have a promo going on. So it's $39.99 for the year. I'd highly recommend picking this up if you are some 
somebody that's like a student that uses public Wi-Fi or somebody that travels often and you value privacy or you value American Netflix. Luminar AI. So this app honestly is a must have, especially if you're a photographer or getting into photography, this makes it so easy to edit apps. And as the name suggests, this is AI. So it's artificial intelligence. It uses an algorithm to analyze your photo and make corrections automatically, or you can go in and fine tune it just how you like. It has some cool templates as well that is available to you. And I used it recently to brush up some photos. This was probably never gonna be my main photo editor because I love Lightroom and it's so easy to use and it's quick and it's really good. But this also has a plugin version that you can use with Lightroom. So that means I could edit the photo in Lightroom, then easily port it over to Luminar AI and edit photos. But some of the cool things that this has that makes it a must have app is you can do things like sky replacement. So you can easily adjust the sky in a photo and make it look a lot more beautiful than the plain old sky that we're used to, especially here in Toronto. If you're somebody that does a lot of portrait work as well and you want to save time uh, smoothing out the skin, then this has a lot of skin smoothing features and it just has a plethora of options available for photographers. If you're somebody that does not like clutter, likes to keep your desktop minimal looking, then Vanilla is the app for you. It places a dot on your top menu bar thing and you're able to organize your icons in the top menu bar and hide them if you'd like to reduce the clutter on your screen. But also more importantly, a cool feature that it has and something that I definitely do use is the ability to just hide all desktop apps. Now I'm somebody that definitely has a lot of desktop icons on my MacBook desktop at all times. And it's just the best way for file management to be honest. But this means that I could just quickly press the button and hide it all. So if I'm doing presentations or I'm showing something on my desktop, I can just reduce all distractions there. All you have to do is hold down a key on your Mac and then drag an app onto the side of the dot on the bar then you can easily hide everything and that gives you a cleaner look so a lot of Mac apps come with like a top bar icon and when you're using a lot and have a lot open at once it just becomes too cluttered and really annoying so I'd highly recommend vanilla but that was it let me know what apps you guys found useful and also let me know any apps that you guys use day to day, I definitely into trying them out. So drop them in the comments down below. Also, if you found this video useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.